I can't tell you how many times I've looked at this picture and the deck sticks out like a sore thumb. You know, my God, I can't believe this thing's falling apart. Who built it? All sorts of problems. But there is another problem, and I just noticed it a few moments ago, and it's the pipe sticking out of the neighbor's property. I mean, this thing could be a nightmare. If you have a neighbor's pipe draining onto your property, you'd better notify them that it's time to move it unless they are allowed to drain it onto your property because there is some type of an easement. Uh, the neighbors in back of my house actually um, regraded, they re-landscaped their backyard and all of the water, instead of how it used to drain to the front of the house, now drains to the back fence and they not only drained it to the back fence, they sloped it to where all of the water drains into my yard and the neighbor in back of me. And the water that goes into my neighbor's yard realistically drains into my yard. And it is a nightmare. That's just one nightmare. Any water that is dumped onto your property could be adding or contributing to soil erosion. If enough soil erodes, you might walk out there one day and find a big sinkhole in your backyard and you're going to have to pay to fill it. Um, water needs to drain safely onto um, areas where it isn't going to be creating a problem. This pipe right here looks like it actually drains onto an easement, a driveway. There's a driveway that goes into the um, to another property in the back. So I'd imagine they're actually allowed to drain it on drain the water onto it. However, it's also a safety um, hazard. Could you imagine a small kid falling onto this pipe? I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, and again, I don't want to blow something like this out of proportion, but honestly, put a 45 on it and have it, uh, put it back in, it can go into the dirt and just, it could drain right above the driveway if, if that's what you want. But what I would do is take this pipe and run it in the direction as far as I could off of my property um, to, to a safe area, even if it's 70 feet or 100 feet away. Drain it, use the pipe to drain the water. Don't have it dump onto a driveway or an easement and then um, create erosion problems. I've seen drainage pipes like this um, drain right next to or on top of a sidewalk, driveway, walkway, and even a street. And it isn't long before the street's starting to sink, starting to crack. Um, it's starting to um, deteriorate. And worst of all, you got to drive in and out of the, your property and you have a big hole now or a, a section of your property that is starting to dip in, well, guess what? That dip allows more water to accumulate when there's an, when there's an overabundance of water. It's a, it's a lose, lose situation. You've got to get the water off of your property um, as, as safely and efficiently as you possibly can. If you're just going to drain it into an area that's going to erode other sections of your property, you're just creating a future nightmare for yourself and anyone else who's tied to this easement, road, um, or walkway.